And now the athletes taking their spot at the starting line. Justin Medeiros, the defending Rogue Invitational champion in lane six. And we are underway. Event number two presented by Concept, who is Ski Bar. And we start with those 20 bar muscle ups. Yeah, 20 bar muscle ups, and then we're going to get into the, the, the vast redundancy that we saw from Heat One with abs, abs, and more abs. These guys getting their midline tested throughout the entire workout here at each and every one of these. And then we got to see firsthand, too. It's grip and rip on that ski, and it's nothing to shake a stick at. We saw the lead even be uh, transferred from athlete to athlete within the modality itself. So it is important in this particular test. Jason Hopper on the right side of your screen in lane nine in the black top, he is your overall leader after winning event number one, the Texas Trail that took place yesterday off site. And we see different strategies already coming into play. We see athletes breaking these up even more generously than we saw in heat one. You think, Sean, these guys were actually watching from the sidelines and taking a note, a note or two. Pat Vellner, Ricky Garrard, and Bjorvin Carl Gumitz in your top three right now. Garrard threw 17 of those 20 reps. Garrard is in the black top and black shorts in lane number seven. And there is Pat Vellner on his final rep. So Pat Vellner, who is your 2020 Rogue Invitational Champion, will be the first man to the skier go along with Ricky Garrard. The two of them getting started at exactly the same time. Here comes Bjorvin Carl Gumitz at the bottom of your screen. 200 total repetitions here. When they hit the 60 rep mark, that is when they will move on to the GHDs. And it's Ricky Garrard with about a calorie lead right now over Pat Vellner. The Vellner keeping things tight here on the second movement in this event. 11.04.54 seconds. That's the time to beat. Belongs to Chandler Smith from heat number one. In the background, you can see Jeff Adler failing a rep. And I can't help but think Pat, Pat shows up with this event with a little something to prove. Um, not that he had an unsuccessful games experience uh, in 2022, but he's one of the top competitors in our field. And it seems like at times we can kind of put him towards the back a little bit. And we want to see what he can do with stringing together a good 10 events consistently. There we get to see firsthand exactly the wattage that Ricky's putting out. Notice he's got a really steady stroke. Looks like he's finding plenty of space to breathe. Probably trying to emphasize using those hips and those lats quite a bit in order to save his midline for these GHD sit-ups that await. Pat Velder threw 52 of the 200 total repetitions. He is coming into his final five calories. Velder looks to be the first man onto the 80 GHDs. Vellner is done. Vellner needs to hit the 140 rep mark before he makes the turn and heads back to the ski erg. And now he gets to work on his 80 GHDs. Ricky Garrard stays in second. Roman Krennikov in third. Along with Bjorven and Carl Gumitz. And here comes Ricky Garrard. And Pat really put together about a 12-second lead there, just in the difference that he put in on that ski erg. So that's that's where it comes back to the fact that the, the erg does matter, especially when you know you're going to go back there after these GHD sit-ups. Roman Krennikov and Saxon Panchik are heading to the GHD. Now here comes Sam Quant, and now Justin Medeiros in that purple shirt is onto the GHD. Only three men are on the ski erg. It's Lazar Jukic in lane two. And now in lane eight, Jeff Adler is done along with Jason Hopper. Medeiros has a ridiculous cadence going on right now with the GHD sit-up. If you'll notice, by the time he's doing about three reps, Ricky's doing about two. Um, and this is a great place for him to have an opportunity to make up some ground on those that were leading him into this particular movement. Justin Medeiros creeping up the standings here in this heat, now in sixth place. Trying to reel in Sam Quant. Pat Vellner continues to lead through 96 of the 200 total repetitions here and counting. 
Yeah, and you'll, you'll notice it. this cadence here between most of the field is pretty similar. And then you've got Justin with just a faster turnaround from the top to bottom. His eyes are closed. He looks like he's in a bit of quote unquote the zone or maybe his happy place. But he clearly likes this movement. Darius creeping closer to Sam Quant. Roman Krennikov in the top four, but now the top three athletes starting to separate themselves. Ricky Garrard, Pat Fellner, and Jorvin Gumanson are your top three. Ricky Garrard looks like he may have taken the lead now from Pat Vellner. 140 repetitions. It's a number they need to get to. And there's a little bit of gamesmanship taking place here too, right? Each athlete has a bit of self-awareness to the point where they may know a tempo that's just too fast for them. When they're really thinking about how difficult those 20 initial bar muscle-ups were to navigate with this new apparatus, and perhaps saving a little energy here, letting the field make their moves, so that they can finish faster at the end. So Pat Vellner is going to be the first man off of the GHD. He maintains his lead over Ricky Garrard, so a score a little bit behind of where he is right now. He is through 140 of the 200 reps. Now 40 calories on the skier for Vellner. Pat hasn't relented any of this lead. In fact, he might have opened up a little bit. And now Justin Medeiros has moved just ahead of Ricky Garrard. So that pace that Madera's had on the GHD is paying off as he has now moved into second place in the heat. Quant and Krenikov onto the ski, as is Bjorvin Carl Gutmanson and Saxon Panchik. And this is where this is this is what makes Justin great in my perspective is that he has this ability to really seize the moment in the middle of a workout when a lot of guys start to falter or they make a mistake with pacing. He comes in strong understanding his own capacity to a really high level. Pat Velder is your leader. Ricky Garrard and Justin Medeiros are fighting for second place. Once they hit the 180 rep mark, that's when they will move back to that wooden pull-up bar for the final time for 20 bar muscle-ups. 11.04.54 seconds. That is your time to beat upper right-hand part of your screen belongs to Chandler Smith. Only four men in heat number one were able to get in inside of that 12-minute time cap. Yeah, when I look at body language, everything about Pat Vellner right now screaming confidence. He's feeling good with the pace that he's established, and he's going to be ready for these 20-bar muscle-ups. Vellner is in his final five calories. Now one calorie to go for the 2020 Rogue Invitational Champion, and Vellner maintaining his lead. 20-bar muscle-ups remaining. We'll keep an eye on the race between Medeiros and Garrard for second place. Vellner to work on his set of 20. How much of his hands can he keep on top of that for each one of those reps? Two and a break. Judges' hands in the air for both Roman Krenikov and Justin Medeiros. Medeiros is done. Krenikov is done, as is Sam Quant. And Ricky Garrard still has some work to do here on the skier. Vellner with about 16, now 15 reps to go. And this is interesting. Notice that Justin abandoned the grips on this back half of this workout here. This might be a key to helping him save his grip. Vellner trying to hold off Quant, Krenikov, and Medeiros taking a quick break. Medeiros continuing to work. After a quick break, now Medeiros on the right side of your screen hopping off again. People might think I'm crazy for saying this is going to save his grip, Sean, but when, when you're dealing with something that's wide in circumference already, that those grips that you're wearing actually increase the size of how it feels. And so with your skin closer to the apparatus, it allows you to hang on for bigger sets. Pat Vellner is inside 10 reps to go here. Now nine remaining for him as he looks to lock up an event win. Sam Quant 
is in second place just ahead of both Medeiros and Krenikov. Now a no rep for Pat Bellmer. Justin Medeiros continuing to work. And he will break. Belner is back up on the bar. Now Medeiros threatening to overtake Pat Belner. He has five to go. And with consistency here. These athletes have to remember to sit over the bar before they press out. That's what happens when they miss out the back. Belner trying to hold off Justin Medeiros. Medeiros looks like he has about a rep lead on Pat Vellner. Two to go for your defending Rogue Invitational Champion. Final rep for Medeiros. He's going to take a quick break, chalk his hands as Pat Vellner, I believe, has two remaining. Medeiros is done, and Justin Medeiros is going to win event two. With a couple seconds to spare, 100 points for your defending Rogue Invitational Champ. Now here comes Ricky Garrard. He will take second place in the heat, followed by Pat Valor, and now a race between Gubinson, Krenikov, and Quant. Quant is going to get in ahead of Gubinson and Krenikov. Now three men are left on the field. Saxon Pajic, Lazar Jukic, and Jason Hopper. Now Saxon Pajic is done. Lazar Jukic with a no rep. Jeffrey Adler was also still out there. Now three men left. Jukic, Adler, and Hopper as Justin Medeiros, who took fifth in the opening event, is going to follow that up with a first place finish here in event number two. Wow. What a way to start the day. The king of execution, Justin Medeiros. Started.